All right, thank you, Adam. And oh, <laughs> thank you to the rest who organized this great event. But especially thank you to all of you who are thank you to all of you who are brave enough to come out here today to dare to defy the law. Well, up in Philadelphia about three weeks ago, I had the honor of being uh, about 10 to 12 feet away from Adam when he was arrested, holding that camera right over there. And Adam was talking, before he got arrested, Adam was talking about one of my favorite people, who's no longer with us, Henry David Thoreau, who wrote a book called Civil Disobedience. And that's something very important to us today. You cannot obey these unjust laws. I'd like to go, I'd like to refer to some of what Adam said. There's a specific paragraph. Thoreau said this, under a government which imprisons any unjustly, the true place for a just man is also a prison. If any think that their influence would be lost there, and their voices no longer afflict the ear of the state, that they would not be as an enemy within its walls, that they do not know by how much truth is stronger than error, nor how much more eloquently and effectively he can combat injustice who has experienced a little in his own person. Cast your whole vote, not merely, not a strip of paper merely, but your whole influence. A minority is powerless while it conforms to the majority. It is not even a minority then, but it is irresistible when it clogs by its whole weight. If a thousand men were not to pay their tax bills this year, that would not be a violent and bloody measure. This is, in fact, the definition of a peaceable revolution. If the tax gatherer or any other public officer asks me, as one has done, but what shall I do? My answer is, if you really wish to do anything, resign your office. When the subject has refused allegiance and the officer has resigned his office, then the revolution is accomplished. So that was Henry David Thoreau speaking of civil disobedience. And that is the question today. Henry David Thoreau knew that taxation was the root of tyranny. There was a straight line running from taxation to the standing army to the uh, imperial war against Mexico. There's a straight line running from taxation to having a police state to enforcing slavery. And today we see it too. There's a straight line running from taxation to the police state around us to enforcing marijuana laws. Repealing the war on drugs would be a great first step, but we would still have the police state. Ultimately, the answer is to take away the tools that the state uses to oppress us. That means goodbye to all these police in favor of private security arrangements and the abolishment of taxation. After all, taxation is nothing but naked theft. I'm not going to tell people what to do or not to do. I'm going to say right now, though, free your mind. You do not morally owe any taxes. Free your mind. Once we free our minds, we can live free. Thank you. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Darren Wolf. Yeah. 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 Yeah.